Hey yo, what is going on, bro? Once again, bros, women, bronies, and back I'm especially talking to you guys out there, so bro who? And of course, I'll talk as you game models. This is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011 K Criticism Guy 2009. And of course, you guys are arrested in interest towards this channel. Definitely check out freedom.com and of course, Treble Susan. If any people are interested in business part of the program, best part of your career, all the shit. Links in the description about down below. Teach on If any people are interested in business part of the program, business part of the relation, business market strategy, market schemes, all the other shit, minimization program, yada yada, all the bullshit. And today, I am going to be reacting to, of course, I'm going to get credit where credit is due. Um, I saw, well, I haven't seen the video, but I saw a thumbnail of it. And shout out to my boy Zachary, aka Zach or um, Brony Monster 44, as he's normally known for in the Brony reaction side of the community fan base um he reacted to this video which i haven't seen it yet because i usually react to it myself or i'll watch it on my own time i feel like because i know there was another video that he reacted to today it has something to do with um twilight sparkle and it was called bad nightmares and it was from i think that bitch's love cakes channel which i don't give a fuck about anymore because um i don't hate her anymore i just don't give a shit about her or whatever the fuck she does good on her i don't fucking care what she does Anyways, uh, <laughs> it's just kind of a slap in the face because I know the only thing that she's known for is doing a lot of collaborations with either that dude Rustic Shine or um, what was that other guy? Um, I used to watch a couple of his videos at the time, but um, I think it was something Gonzo something Pony. I don't know what the fuck his name was, but um, I know it was still pretty big at the time. I'm not sure if he's as big as he used to be, but yeah. Mindless Gonzo, that's what that dude's name was. And I remember the second year I had this channel, I think it was in 2012. It was four years ago. I think I'm, I did I did like a triple reaction, not a triple reaction, more of a video response to like three certain YouTubers. Completely different, like, um, it, they talk about completely different subjects, which two of them I have a big amount of respect for still, and I'm still subscribed to him, which um, one, he does a lot of like underground hip hop um, rap reviews, along with um, like a couple things that are going on. When, they're like usually in the negative side unfortunately the black African American community which I don't give a fuck about because I'm not black but if I was I'd be pretty fucking sad um, um his name's a um, misanthropic one him and um this other dude I still watch his videos occasionally not as much as I used to but uh he goes by the name of Andrew Colony but he's better known as Crystal Fissures um he does a lot of old school let's plays of Crash Bandicoot and um Spider Dragon most of the time in his videos I know the three um, Let's Plays he's doing right now is Wallace and Gromit, and he's also doing um, he's doing that one along with the Ratchet and Clank, the PS4 remastered version of Ratchet and Clank. I know he's doing another Let's Play of uh, Daxter, the Sony PlayStation Plus or PSP series of the game. Many people remember that. Uh, nostalgic time. I think it was like my sophomore and junior year when the PSP was a big thing at the time. <clears throat> way before the PS Vita and the other PlayStation Portal like devices that ever come out in the future if they decide to do that again. Yeah, I remember I talked about Mindless Gonzo before, like so long ago. My God. Four years, man. That goes by fast. Going on five because it's almost 2017. 2016 is almost coming to an end once next month comes around. Anyways, um, yeah. But besides all that, I completely went way off track of what I was about to react to. So... I will be reacting to this other video that Burning Monster 44 reacts to, which I haven't seen yet. I should either watch his reactions either after I'm done doing my reaction review segment to it, or if I just watch it on my own. Like I said before, if it's like under three or ten minutes, I'm not gonna like react to it because that's way too short for me. Or after, actually no, if it's over a minute or two, I'll react to it. But if it's under any of those minutes, yeah, if I do react to it, I'm gonna put like two or three other. Um, Brony anime, MLP animations that I'll leave on the side so I can react to those as well so I could react to two or three other um, MLP animation videos instead of just one. That's going to be way too short of a fucking video. And I like my... You, not, you guys know I love doing my reaction videos nice and long. Anyways, um, so this one's called History with History with Pinkie Pie Episode 1, Amelia Merhart. Oh, and it's a, it's a play play by play play on words with Amelia Earhart the one that I think she was the one that traveled across the world and she got lost and I think she went into that little barrel and she went down to Niagara Falls and she died I think I don't know if that's the crazy adventurer or feminist chick that was back at the time but uh any people already know I feel about feminism I fucking hate it I'm sorry if any females out there are feminists but yeah just just fucking end yourself I, I hate people like you I'm sorry as long as there are any of my viewers or subscribers, you guys are awesome. But if you're not, go fuck yourself. 
anyways, <laughs> all the way over there. Uh, completely away from around me. I can't stand bullshit ignorance fucking groups like that. Other than that, uh, yeah, it's the person that actually made this animation was called Vision Visions. A shout out to Vision Visions if you're watching this. Thank you very much for making us this, um, which um, I'm predicting is going to be a really glorious and beautiful, sexy ass animation that you did. Good sir or madam, I don't know what you are. Anyways, um, it's like seven minutes, almost seven minutes long, so links in the description box down below. Invitation outside if any people want to see it with me or on your own time. Without further ado, let's get in. Hopefully, I have to do a two part notes. Three, two, one, let's get it in. And here we fucking go. Hopefully, it works. All right, it works. Thank God. Shit, I was about to say. Please tell me that's not going to work. Oh, Reaper Chan's in this. I know who that is. Oh, Brittany Ackerman. And Anna Chloe M is in here? Oh, I remember those two. Like, Anna Chloe M and Brittany Ackerman, I used to be subscribed to. I unsubbed them because they only did videos like once every two to three months, and that's like way too long for me. I didn't unsubscribe to them because I hated them. I just unsubbed them because, um, not gonna say I got bored with them, it's because, um, they stopped kind of stopped doing a lot of shit on their channel, so it's like, I don't really like being subscribed to dead channels that aren't going to do nothing. But, um, that girl, Ribbon Chan, she still does stuff, so that's why I haven't unsubbed her yet. Ribbon Chan or Rebo Chan, I forget how she you about Equestria's lovely history. Well, some of it is lovely, uh, The battle board, <laughs> what? Wait, what did that say? Hold on. The Battle of Mare Tropolis. Oh, man. Is that a fan fiction? Oh. Uh, I wonder if this is the one that's doing, like, um, <coughs> Pie Sports. Oh, my gosh, she sounds so fucking good, man. You already know I love the shit out of fucking Piggy Pie. That's my fucking baby right there, man. Amelia Mareheart, and one of her biggest achievements. You see, Amelia Mareheart was the Bane Atlantic Ocean. It's funny, they use all these real life words that exist in real life, but they just turn it into like pony horse, um, pony voice terminology. This is Amelia Mearhart. She's smart, ah, that's cunning, who was. brave, and doesn't have the best fashion choice. <laughs> Excuse me? Gotta bust out my Arizona. The road. ship's bomb as fuck. I only heard about it a few months. I've been addicted to it ever since. This is not as much Gather. caffeine compared to, um, what's to it called? Monster, monster or any of those fucking uh, um, rocks or anything. I still like those too. That's what I'm drinking. Oh, they showed um, Derpy Hoops. That's my girl too. Fucking love her. Huh? Ah! There's this other great show. Sets a shimmer. No That's probably the one that Web Clay Kick was on playing. I'll admit, I respect her as a voice actor, but as far as her being a separate right. individual, she's a fucking cunt. She's sure a bitch. Fuck her. As far as real life goes, but I will respect her as a, um, a voice actor. And there's a high she's good as that. That's as much fucking respect as that bitch what is gonna fucking get from no me. Different I'm just saying. Like the one who first sailed across the ocean. Only thing is gonna show on Starlight Glimmer, too, but show something to show Trixie. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the airplane's going on fire. Don't tell me that whole thing's gonna explode and they die. Please don't tell me that shit's gonna happen. It fucking happened. I knew it. I called that shit, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I think I have to get like another one though. Ooh, that's nice. I like how they did that blue streak. That's like that same old school 2000, 2001 movie that I think Martin Lawrence was in. I remember it was like the first thing rated R movie I saw when I was like 11. I wasn't supposed to watch it. I didn't give a fuck. You what? Oh shit. What did she put in there? Oh, did she put like Nas or some shit in there? Is gonna like take off super fast? Oh shit. Shit, bro. Oh, this is probably somebody's OCs. I don't know who they are. Sorry. Is that Princess Celestia? Ah, I called it. It was her. Where's Luna at, man? I like Celestia, but I like Luna. Shit's on more, but. Bro. Oh, crap. Woo! Oh, shit! Oh, they almost killed the fucking princess. Oh my god, 
my god! I wonder if she's gonna go across the main Atlantic Ocean now. Alright, that's it. A... Amelia's flight is pretty calm. Alright, it's only like the flat ocean waits below, and the breeze of the ocean is giving off the last Probably nothing. Oh no, there is. Like the I don't know who that was. Cause I don't know every single person in the fucking Rona community that makes like YouTube content. I only know some of them. Three big ones I know that are my personal favorite is on Two Created White Two K. Um, as far as like Brony analysis, him, Golden Fox, and then that other dude. Um, Dr. Wolf, they're pretty funny as shit. I love those the most guys. Dangerous part and then, as far as the females go, like Lightning Bis, Obat Stripper, and like Lost and Airy. Those girls no are cool as fuck. And of course, Amelia like the other shit, like Mad Munchkin, Raven Chan, the one that's playing Pinky Bite's voice now. And uh, I'm trying to think of another shirt. I guess that was this other girl besides Pinky Rose, one of Pinky Rose's friends. I think her name was Hannah something. I don't know. Or no, Ashley H. That's what her name is. Ah, they're going to the Team Fortress 2 area. The red versus blue shit. Ah, oh, it's wild. Oh, shit. thing exploded. Thank God she got out while it was finished. Please stand by. Congratulations! You, Amelia. Oh, who is that? Is that Rainbow Dash? No. I don't know who that pony is. It's probably like another OC that I don't know about. What do you have to say? She's shit stained out of her mind, man. Shit stoned well, out of her that mind. That concludes the That's million wild. crowning achievement. And oh, we're out of time. So, tune in next time for another episode of History with Pinkie Pie. Good night, folks. I love that one. Oh, that was fucking good. I like this one. Not bad, Vision Vision. Shout out to you for making this, by the way. It's a project. And shout out to all the VAs that put their hard work, effort, and on uh, consideration into this um, video. I'm sorry if my voice is starting to sound like crap. This is like the sixth video I did today, so my voice is starting to like give out on me. So, I'm gonna do the overall thoughts, use and opinions really, really quick. Only two things I could see, like um, as far as pet peeve goes, that I really didn't like too much about it is that um, I know it's supposed to be the main six. It's really the main seven now, because you know Starlight Glimmer's in this a part of the main six, so it's. I'm surprised they didn't show all of the main seven um, cast of characters. The only ones that they showed was um, Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash. They didn't show Rarity, Applejack, Fluttershy, um, Twilight, or um, Starlight Glimmer anywhere. But at least they showed um, Sunset Shimmer. You know what? I'll give them credit for um, Vision Visions for um, putting Sunset Shimmer into this um, animated video. It's really, really good. Thank you very much, good sir or madam, if you did do that. Um, <clears throat> the second pet peeve I didn't like too much is that... Uh, <clears throat> I felt like some of the animation was kind of slow in some parts, um, but at the same time, I will admit, you know, it was still a really good ass overall animation. It wasn't top notch, top notch 1080p, real super hardcore fucking graphics in your face for days type of animation. But you know what? Uh, I usually don't do ratings. I'll give it a nine out of ten though. That's what I'll give it. I would have given it a ten out of ten if it wasn't those little slow parts in the animation. I feel like it was kind of glitchy, but at the same time, you know what? I'm not a professional animator. I've never animated anything any of my anything in my life, unless I'm not rich enough to do that shit. It's usually a lot of rich fuckers that know how to fucking do the animation. They have the expensive equipment to do that shit. So even if I wanted to do it, I couldn't. Anyways, um, <laughs> besides that shit, uh, what the fuck else? Um, what I liked about the video, um, I liked that he was showing a couple OCs that were, I guess, a part of this project, or people, maybe it's OCs of characters of people that... He knows personally, and a lot of other people don't. I didn't know any of the OCs that he was showing in the background because I'm not subscribed to them, but um, 
I mean, I'm sure they're really good freaking um, artists and stuff, or really, really, uh, not big names in the Brony community, but maybe they're just starting out their Brony YouTube channel or Pegasister YouTube channel, but I still like it nonetheless. Oh, uh, what's it called? I like all the little switches. They, he put, like, the horse pony terminology in it. He, he named Amelia Earhart Amelia Merhart, and then he named um, the Atlantic Ocean into Merlantic Ocean, so... That very, very clever um, play on words there, my friend. And once again, I got to credit credit zoo real, real quick. Shout out to all the voice actors and actresses that put their time, worth, effort, and um, consideration into this video. And uh, yeah. And then once again, it had kind of like that same, kind of like that same animation stuff, uh, style as uh, like the Fallout 4 series. And then that other one, I think this was the same dude that did that, did that um, other animation with. I remember it had, like, um, Rainbow Dash and Twilight Sparkle. They were, like, I was going to say New York City, but it's the pony version of New York City. Manhattan. I think they were Manhattan, and um, they had to stop Flutter. And I thought I saw a freaking airplane crash, and that would suck ass. <laughs> um, and uh, what's it called? What was I saying? They had to stop Flutter Bat. You know, the one that always transforms, like, Fluttershy transforms into Flutter Bat. She turns evil, or if it's nighttime. Now to stop her, stop her from like crashing his blimp into a building or some shit. Fucking wild, man. I think this is the same dude that did that last year. I think it was last year or the year before in 2014. I don't know. Other than that, that's all I got to say for now. And um, good on everyone who participated in this project. And uh, hopefully they get better and better and they gain more subscribers. You know, because that's pretty much the only thing they ever give a shit about nowadays is recent subscribers, which um, I know I'm completely against. You know, um, as far as growing their channel, you know, I'm kind of with it a little bit. I sound like a flip flop or a two face. I'm just saying. And uh, that's it. Links in the description box is down below. Invitation on site. If any people want to see um, the official video, and shout out to um, Burning Monster 44 for letting me know about this thing. And uh, I'm done here. Peace out once again, bros, women, bronies, and bags. So talk as you get motos. I will see you when I see you guys. A good day, have a good night, wherever. You are at around the world. Don't drink small weed at the same time. Don't take him reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it collective out there. And until the next time, guys, peace out, ladies and goodbye. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Brainy videos on the channel almost every single day. Stay in the grind. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Be easy. Be a dude yourself. Stay safe, everyone. Of course, as always, get to more future commentary and videos and vlogs on the channel, such as Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, PC gaming news. And of course, my anime and otaku related news and video gaming related news on that side of the room. And of course, on this side of the room, my overhype um, reaction review segments for Pokemon MLP, um, movie trailer reactions, anime trailer reaction review segments, along with um, movies and entertainment shit, and video game trailers as well. And of course, as always, excuse me, as always, um, my video responses and rants. Peace, deuces, I'm out. Ladies and goodbye. Have a good ass weekend, and I will talk to you guys next time. Peace, and I am out of here. Later.